Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm going to keep working on this uh, journal. I did some work on it, and I'll show you in just a minute, but first I'm going to show you I got this book at a thrift store when we were in California, and there's paint and all kinds of stuff all over it. But it's cool, it's called The Illustrator in America, 1900 and 1960, and it's just got really neat images in it, and I've torn it all apart and stuff, but I cut out a lot of the pages from it, and it's all these... They're, you know, they're in black and white and all that, but um, just neat images, so I thought we could use some of those. And then um, we'll be using Denise's paper again, and I wanted to show you, this is what I did to the cover. I um, got a doily at an antique shop this weekend, and so I've put that over it. kind of reminds me of a handbag, and it does come down here, and I thought about trimming this off, but, you know, then you're compromising the crochet. So I thought, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And then a cool pearly button there that opens like that. And then the inside is still where it was before. That's all I did yesterday after I um, worked with you guys. Other than I did back these. This one already has a plain back. But these ones had plain backs as well. But I went ahead and put some of, this is Gail's doily that I put on there. Gail Agustinelli. So I did it on that one as well, and this is one of the envelopes that comes in um, Denise's Digi, and so I put uh, this avocado dyed paper that Denise made, um, and she sells in her shop, on the back, so that you can open it and write in it, or if you choose, you can seal it and just use it as an envelope. So that would be whoever gets this, that would be their choice. So that is as far as I got. Birds go up this way. This goes in here. It'll it can go either way because it goes all the way through. So once I stitch it in, it probably won't go in that way. But oh, and I did do this tag as well. I just added a piece of pink fabric, that same leaf that we were talking about using, and then I um, did a wax seal. I didn't add quite enough wax, so I added more. That's why it's got kind of a weird bump in it, but. I think it turned out okay, so I wasn't that worried about it, and just some sorry silk up here. And then, um, so today we have, <coughs> there's, I put a tag inside of there that I want to work on, and this envelope, which is um, avocado dyed as well, that I got from Denise's shop, so... Anyway, I thought we could do those and some of these images and some of her paper, and I think it'll they'll turn out cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is seal this envelope shut because, um, as you know, if you've ever done coffee dyeing or um, like avocado dye or whatever, many times the glue on the envelopes comes undone. So I just have to put that back on it. hope you're all having a wonderful day. I had a very interesting day. I had to go to work today, first day um, back, and um, the kids aren't there yet, but, you know, getting everything ready, and like today we had a conference type thing, and we had a speaker, and she was amazing. Her name is Tara Brown, and if you're a teacher, you may have heard her speak before. She just really does an excellent, excellent job speaking, so it was very... Um, informative and just just a great talk so I was excited <clears throat> it's always a good way to start the year very inspirational that's the word I was looking for so that was kind of fun even though you know it's not always fun to have to go back again after having the summer off but <clears throat> So I'm just going to cut the top of this envelope off, so that it opens at the top like this, alright, and then I folded it in half because I'm going to put it um, in the signature just like you saw it come out of the signature. So I thought it would be fun to like um, decorate it and stuff on both sides <clears throat> so that it's, it's just going to be a top loading type pocket. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat will not clear. I found these at the dollar store, and I thought they kind of went nicely with the colors that are in this journal, so I thought I'd do a little bit of this if I can get them opened. 
So this is really nothing new. If you have something to work on, feel free. And um, if you're new to all this, then this may be new. <clears throat> Just something that I always have to think about because I forget, you know, not everybody does this stuff or has been doing it long anyway. Sorry, I'm trying to find my tape so that I can separate those napkins since I didn't do that yet. <clears throat> And if you haven't seen this, this is Crafty Irina's way of separating the plain white from the colored part of the napkin so that you can use it. And you can save those with the white portion too to do other things with. <clears throat> it was like one of those kind of things where you're laughing one minute and like Crying the next. She just had a really interesting educational experience. She's been in the inner cities and the whole gang thing and just all over. She's just very knowledgeable and, <clears throat> um, like I said, very inspirational. She just did a great job. So it was fascinating to hear her talk about all that. <clears throat> I'm just taking off that part that has those weird like textural bumps on it around the edge. Maybe I'll do this on the front. Let's do the front first. So yeah, I thought these were kind of pretty with that and I'll ink it afterwards. I'm just going to put glue right on here instead of decoupaging. But feel free to decoupage if that's what you are more comfortable with. <clears throat> Can't decide if I want it this way or this way. Go up this way. Some people amaze me though. Like I would have just been a big chicken because <clears throat> she was in the inner city in the 90s and just all the stuff. I don't think I'm going to do that that she talked about was just amazing. I'm such a chicken. I'd have never done it, I don't think. But she's the perfect person because she's very, like I said, <clears throat> just really wanted to get in there and help and figure out, you know, what to do. And she's definitely made an impact on some kids' lives and I think that's awesome. I love that. There's no better feeling than Maybe when you've struggled with a kid all year about behavior or whatever, and <clears throat> but you keep, you know, working with them, obviously, and trying to figure out ways to work with them. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, they either start reading or, you know, whatever the thing is that you're working with them on. It's just very um, rewarding. I've had some stories like that, and I just... There's nothing like it. It's just amazing once they get into it and start working. And I even have had kids, you know, at the end of the year, I want to hug Mrs. Lindsay, you know, that kind of thing. And it's like, <clears throat> it's just amazing because you feel like you've been on them all the time. And, and then they're, you know, happy to see you or not happy when you're not there or whatever. I don't know. It's just, it's very rewarding line of work. Sometimes you feel like you have to be the heavy a lot, but I guess a lot of it does pay off for sure. So. <clears throat> oh, and I had a question about, um, there was somebody that was looking for the digi and couldn't find it on Denise's um, page and so I gave her the link but if you're looking for like those white this white clock paper that I have on this first I just chose it because it's a little bit thicker and it was just a piece of scrapbook paper that I had and that's the only piece that isn't 
from her kit. So you might not, you know, see directly this one, obviously, because it's not going to be in there. But all the rest of the papers that I'm using are. So sorry about that. <clears throat> but just trying to find something that might look cute on there. All these drawings are so neat. They're from all different time periods. There's one of the little girl that I had earlier that I thought might work, and now I can't figure out what I did with it. But look, aren't they just cool? So fun. That one's kind of cool. Too, but it would take up the whole entire thing. That sounds neat. I do like that one. Some of them are a little big. I'm just stacking them out of the way here. Aww. Trying to find the right size, really. That one's kind of cool, too. Oh, I think this was the little girl, but it's way too big for that. I think I'm going to go with that one. I like that one. I think that's a good fit. <clears throat> like Judy Garland. <laughs> Oopsie. Stuck a little. Alright. So maybe about there. Get some of these little spongy things off. <clears throat> the page. Oh, I gotta remember, I wanna use some of Gail's uh, doily. I just love the colors. They're like perfect for this. So yeah, I don't know what to say about these images other than, you know, you'd have to find the book because can't the copyright, you know, can't copy them. But um, they're really neat to use. Just trying to find like a piece of lace or something would be kind of fun. <clears throat> and I had lace out, but I can't find it because I have a mess. See, and if you do this, it's going to hang off. So maybe I'll wait till I get the other side because you could go all the way across and then it'll hang down. So I'll wait on that part. I'm going to cut off this extra and ink it. So yeah, if you are a teacher and you want to hear some, she has a YouTube channel and it's um, Tara M. Brown. But she kind of only does snippets of her talks, and so, I mean, they're good, too. It's interesting, but it's, she talked for two hours today, and so, just a lot of information and a lot of cool insight and stuff that you don't always think about, or you do sometimes think about, but you don't implement or whatever. <clears throat> and she kept saying, so if you're not good at this, you have six days fix it <laughs> and it's it's very true I think I like one of those stamps on there and those are in the digi so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there there's that you guys can see it 
It needs a little more glue. And like I said, I'll put some lace down at the bottom, but I want to go ahead and get the other side done first. Oh, that's my phone. Sorry. I always forget to turn it off so it doesn't make noise. Um, let's see. What do we want to use on the other side? I want this, but I don't want to cut it out. So I'm going to do some tearing. This is just what's left from me putting the backs on those tags. This was just such a great match with this digi, so... Oh my goodness, sorry. It's kind of big. Hmm. Might have to just... Let me just tear around this and I'll figure out how I want to place it on there. Because <clears throat> so I'll have to tear some off. Okay. If Gail sees any of this, she'll probably be screaming when I... <laughs> Tearing it apart like that. <laughs> uh, okay, I think something like that will work. Turn it this way. Mm, this way. Something like that will work. Oops, sorry. I usually don't go to a lot, a lot of the first of the year um, stuff because I only work part time. We have a new principal and um, he wanted me to go. So talk about a perfect year to go because it's probably one of the best speakers I've ever heard. They usually don't like, you know, paying you to go if you're not full time. Let's see, I'm going to take a page out of here because it's um, really got a nice uh, patina to it. Reader's Digest. I just want some book page. This says 1795. <laughs> need a lot. I just need a piece. Okay. So this isn't anything new. I've done these um, envelopes before in different ways. And obviously nothing difficult, but they're fun. It's fun to remember stuff that, you know, you haven't done for a while or forgotten about entirely or whatever. And this is just a nice quick one to do and fun. Anything you can collage, that's always fun, I think. doing another video today because tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do anything at all because I'll be gone all day at conference stuff so I wanted to make sure I got a second video in. And I'm excited to work on this journal. I just haven't had a lot of time to do it getting to be that time of the year. Oh, I'm going to scooch it this way just a little. I just realized I went over the line right there. It's not going to fold so good. I thought we fine. All right, there's that side. And let's see, I don't know if I'm going to have an image. I'm probably going to have to tear one smaller 
There weren't a lot of real small images. There's a little teeny tiny one. That's kind of cool though. Let's see what else is there. Or we could go like with a butterfly or something too. Oops, just drop that on the floor. What's this one? She looks very sad though. <laughs> Forlorn. or something that would look good. That one kind of looks good. Hmm, that one's kind of big. flower stuff. The smaller. I think I like that first one the best. I should just always go with that because I don't know why I keep trying to change it. part of it, working on the journal. I think I kind of want, oh, maybe, well, if I put the lace down there, I don't really need any more fabric. I was thinking I wanted fabric, but if I just kind of do something like this, that might look good. So I'm going to put this on with a thicker glue, a little bit heavier than the other pieces. And he's dimensional, so I don't want him to get knocked off. Okay, and then we need to figure out the inside, but let's get a piece of this lace. This side's kind of cut at an angle. strip, whatever you want to call it. I am going to scoot it up just a bit right there because I want to make sure that it grabs a good portion. And you could totally stitch that too down along there and I may end up doing that just down on the bottom at the sides or something. Trying not to cut the paper. Flip it over until it dries, and then let's work on this side. Use some of this darker pink. Sorry, got the yawns. And I will make tags to go in there. Some of the things that are in that kit might work too, so. Let's do some ink around that. Turn it this way. I think I'm gonna crumple it. I just want a uh, small texture or something to it. And I would have done the whole stamp thing, but try not to use them anymore, if at all possible. 
or else we'll use them for some things. But I mean, Tim Holtz aren't bad. They're they're pretty good about letting um, creators use their stuff. So I still use those. In fact, I might grab that. If somebody lets us. <laughs> I'm just going to do some little, like, not full, I don't even think you can hardly see that ink on there. It's a little bit light, but it'll still give it some type of um, background, anyway. It's my old standby, I love this one. Okay, that's good. Just something on there make it a little more interesting and let's see bring me back to the same problem of size I do like this one, this one's kind of cool and let's grab some of Denise's paper might fit really good in here. Let me see. Oh yeah, I think they will. Like this. I can back them. So that they'll be all nice and finished on the back. What in the world? Did I end up gluing that shut? Probably. Yeah. Right where I sealed the this part. <laughs> it's stuck, but we'll get it. It wasn't a lot of glue, so those can go in there, or you can turn them the other direction, however you want. Yeah. And then... I have this that just stopped printing in my printer, just like, mm, done. I don't want them anymore. which is aggravating. I'm trying to find some of the other little pieces that are with this kit, sorry. There's the music at work. a ton to say today, other than what we already talked about. I did last night work on um, that Halloween digi quite a bit, so I'm getting, I'm getting a lot further on that. It's just about done. I just need to do some, you know, pockets and things like that. I feel like I need something, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I want a piece of this. I think I left my tear ruler somewhere else. Sorry, so this is what happens when I come home and I didn't have time to prepare a lot. I got home and took my son to get a haircut so he's ready for school. And he's got to go to the doctor this afternoon because he's got some crazy bumps on his legs from, I think, from the when he went water skiing the other day. So i got to go figure out what in the world that is. always something it seems. I really want to cover up this flap is what I'm 
kind of working on here because I just don't, you know, I don't want to see the flap. I don't mind seeing the pink. I just don't want to see that flap. So maybe this one over here. I could do a smaller piece of this. This can come like this. And I like that better, but I feel like something needs to be there. And one more little postcard or a uh, postage stamp I could use. I think that's what I'll do. thought these would kind of give a little something to this. It's all fairly light, which it's beautiful color combination. Just thought maybe the black and white might, you know, give it a pop a little bit. Kind of like this page with the um, collage pieces. needs a little bit around the edge. This is just like um, paper bag. That's exactly what this pink stuff feels like. Like that you get at the grocery store or whatever. like I need music playing or something. My son's in playing Beat Saber. <laughs> so if you hear him making noises, that's where they, it's like a music thing and you have to use your arms to kind of like hit the beats or whatever. I don't, I don't totally know because I've never done it before. But anyway, it's great though because they get some exercise instead of just playing video games that, um, You know, where you just sit and stare at the computer or whatever. And it's very difficult. Because he's had friends come over that are like, how do you do that so fast? <laughs> he's really he's good at it. But he plays it a lot. But it really helped him. We went on hikes and everything in California. And he had no trouble whatsoever. He stomped his dad on that whole thing. His dad wasn't expecting it, you know, because normally he's like, I can't walk anymore. But he's going to be a big kid, so tall and older, you know. All right, so that I think will work. Glue stick's starting to run out. Feel free to fast forward if you're getting bored with my <laughs> my deal here. But not to be offended. It's kind of the way these process things go. But these look really neat in journals. These envelopes like this. For pockets. I like this. I 
Ah, well, I guess that's how I'll be using it. And the other thing you have to realize is that these two sides are not going to be right next to each other because there's going to be the signature page through there. So that's not an issue at all. Let's see what else can we put on there. Tags are pretty. Got a little bit of the clock left. Not much. Like I said, this was just a scrap of paper that I had. So I'm sorry if I confused some people. I didn't not mean to do that. Just fun to have a few different pieces than just what's in the digi to go in there. But there's this clock page, and then there's another page that has clocks on it that I'll show you in a minute. It's in the album, or I just want to call them album journal. Old scrapbooker. We got talking about that this weekend with my aunt and my sister, um, how it used to be so everybody was so diligent about the whole, um, you know, acid free and all those kind of things. And now that we can print pictures out from the computer, you know, just onto a piece of paper or whatever, it's really loosened up a lot of that. And now we just, you know, put pictures in our journals or whatever on all different kinds of paper. and. We were talking about how it was so, you had to have all these special albums and things. I mean, you know, those are awesome. There's no, nothing wrong with them. It's just funny how the times change, how you couldn't even possibly put anything with acid with pictures and stuff. Now it's pretty, pretty loose on all that. But definitely, if you're going to use your journal as more of like a photo album or, you know, put lots of photos of your kids or whatever in them, don't put the originals. Or if you only have, you know, especially old photos, if that's all you have is one and you can't get any more, then um, definitely don't put it with this stuff because it'll, I mean, the scrap of paper's fine, but everything else that we all use has so much acid in it with the old papers and magazine print and all that kind of stuff. Turn it this way. I haven't even found an image for this one. I just put all that down. This, this could fit in there too. Go in the other direction on the other side. And that would be good. Let's see. Move those. This one's just so sad. I could just tear off the bottom part of her dress. That's kind of funny because it looks like Julie, Judy Garland. Have some stuff on there. Glue smudges, always. The eraser really does work well on these. This one's kind of neat too, but I like to be able to see this. Let's see if we take some more of this off. Hmm. Something that goes a little bit better with that. I don't know what that would be, but <laughs> sorry, it probably would have been great to figure this out beforehand, but that one's kind of depressing.
one just cracks me up. <laughs> uh, I like that one. I love her whole dress, but I mean, I guess if I took off this bottom part, it wouldn't be that big of a, a deal. Yeah, the, that book was obviously owned, the one that I got was obviously owned by an artist because there was paint everywhere in there and it was definitely well loved for sure, which is really cool. Love that. Kind of want a little bit of this pink in there. Yeah, I think that's how I want it. Oh, I need to do that bubble on there. fingers. <laughs> I like to squish it a little just to keep some of those wrinkles more obvious. Because if you, you know, push it all down flat again, there is no point in wrinkling it to begin with. So yeah, I think that'll be fun in there. And then let me see where did that we put I don't know, you could put another journaling card in or, you know, but I'm going to back those tags so you'll see whatever is on the back and I think I'll use another doily. I have another one. So, let's see, where's my... So, the other page that she's done that has clocks is this one. It's almost like a, you know, it's got the flowers and the music. And then I think there's one other one this one. I can open it. That has a clock there. So that's what her pages look like that have the clocks. I'm going to put that back. I don't remember where I had it originally. Let's put it here. So see, you'll see this one and then open it and see that one and then when you get all the way back here. So that's why these are kind of fun to have in there. Right? So I will let you guys go now and I will probably try to finish this tag if I have time <laughs> before we have to go again. But um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're liking how this is coming out. If you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see um, or ideas for videos or whatever, just let me know. And um, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and we'll talk later. Thanks. Bye-bye.